Hey everyone, so I thought I'd just do a quick updates video for you. So I know it's been a little while, um, but things have finally started to work themselves out because obviously I was in a bit of a difficult situation um, and things have started to work themselves out. My pets are out of my house. I did have to do a bit of agreement with the landlord, but I'll explain all that in the moment. But just making the pets some um, um, breakfast. So I do spoil them quite a bit. Um, but at the minute we've just got some um, salad and then we've got carrot, broccoli, cauliflower and then I'm also boiling them an egg as we speak. Um, so they're having that for breakfast this morning because they've not had egg in a little while and I thought whilst I've got a couple of eggs in the house because usually I don't tend to have them in the house um, but my dad gave me some <laughs> from our chickens. Um, so I thought whilst I have some eggs, I'll make them an egg and pop it in because I absolutely love egg. Um, so what I'm going to do, quickly finish the breakfast and go and show you the pets and give you guys a bit of an update on them. Breakfast time! So um, as you can see, the pets are back in a shed. Um, so for those of you who know my current situation, you'd probably be up to date with everything that's been going on for the for those of you who don't. Basically, I moved from my mum's house to my dad's house and then when I moved to my dad's, my animals did have to go in a shed because my bedroom was tiny at my dad's and I couldn't fit all my cages in. Um, and then things weren't working out at my dad's, so I moved back up into the area where my mum lives, but I got like a house share kind of thing with three other people. Um, and then the landlord did, ideally didn't want pets because of obviously I'm sharing the house with three other people um, and it wouldn't be fair for me to have my animals and them not to have any animals. Um, so for temporary they went to live at my friend's house and they ended up in my friend's shed because she's got three kids and the kids were mauling with them and trying to let them out and stuff so they did end up going in my friend's shed um, and basically I did an agreement with my landlord if they could come to our house as long as they go in the shed um, so obviously my pets have been in a shed for probably about a year now they were used to living in my bedroom and everything at my mum's because I had quite a big bedroom um, but Unfortunately, that isn't an option at the moment, but I'm just glad they're here and they're home with me because I was sick of going to my friend's house and not coming home till like 10 o'clock and running around like a headless chicken pretty much 99% of the time because I've got the two horses and then I've obviously got these guys and then I've got my work and myself to sort out and then in between I had to go shopping and sort everything out and it just wasn't an ideal situation. Um, so the pets are home with me, although unfortunately I have lost a couple more pets. Um, so unfortunately Badger passed away and Bubble passed away, but part of that probably is down to stress, but it also probably is down to their old age as well because they were quite old. Um, but obviously with them moving around a lot, it's not really helped and I do understand that it's not fair on them, but it's not fair on me and it's just not an ideal situation that anyone should have to go through. Um, so at the moment we have Sugar who's in the Hamster Heaven, Nibbles who's in the Fur Plus Mary, Nemo is now in the Alaska and then I've got the five mice. So I've got Pepper, Pickle, Peanut, Pumpkin and Perky in the bottom just down there. And then we've got Squeak just in his gerbilarium over here. I don't plan on getting Squeak a friend just because Squeak is quite old and I don't have to go through buying a gerbil and then when one passes away buying another one it's just a constant cycle because squeak is doing quite well on his own and at the moment i'm not in the position to get any more pets because at the moment my landlord knows about the ones i've got and i don't want to start bringing more animals in and then turn around and say i've got too many animals i've got to move out and all this kind of stuff so i'm playing it safe at the moment and just sticking to the animals which i have so i kind of have my own section in the shed um so I've got my bedding and food, I've got my boxes full of toys and then I've got empty cages full of toys, um, then I've just got bedding, hamster food on the top and then the pets do get a blanket over their cage at night um, and if they need them they've got microwave heat pads as well but given the time of year they don't actually need them at the moment um, but they do get blankets over their cage at night just to take off any chill that there is at night um, but up on top of the cage we've got um, boxes of food um, exercise balls and 
whatever else is up there i really don't know everything's just kind of thrown under the blankets in a minute just to kind of make it look that little bit tidier because i don't want it looking a complete mess um so they do get the blankets over so i pull one over the front of here then one drapes down the side and then it tucks in to here and then comes out and covers um squeak at night so yeah that is basically the current situation uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and give these guys their breakfast um squeak's not too keen on like veggies and things like that so he never usually eats them but we'll try him and see how he gets on but he never normally eats them to be fair to him he's not a big he's not a big fan but anyway this big bowl's here for the mice just because there's lots of them and i have pink hair fresh it's all pretty and pink i cleaned them all out um a couple of days ago so they're all nice and clean too i need to do the water bottles this morning um i'm not going to put any food in this morning just because they're having a big breakfast um but they've got plenty of food anyway i end up having to use that for the mice for a food bowl because otherwise they throw the bedding in it and we on top of it and everything so they just kind of get that with a layer on the front of it um and then that lasts them a couple of days oh look little mousies she's debating come on peanut she smells it she's undecided <laughs> Hi, Squeaky Pops. Hey, little bud. Hey, Squeak. Look at her cheeky little face. Hi, Squeak. He might go to it. He can smell it, that's why he's out. So he might just eat the egg off the top, which if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. It's not really any issues if he doesn't. Because I know they're not a big fan of them anyway. See how he gets on with it anyway. All right, let's finish feeding these guys. Uh, which one's Nemo's? I'm trying to remember which one's which now. I think that one's Nemo's. Nemo was out before, so he might come out and eat this. places in their cages they've got way too many toys in and then sugars sugar's getting really old now as well sugar was a rescue um because i don't know if you guys remember i had his brother spice so unfortunately spice passed away um but we still got little sugar so just wait and see if these guys come out for breakfast now. I don't think they will though. Somebody's awake. Somebody's drinking. It's one of these down here. Oh, they're eating it. So I actually leave all the cages open. They don't escape though. They are really good for it. Where have you gone now, P? Hiding down side of the box. Oh, bless. Come on, Peanut. Dive in the bowl. Going in for the kill. She's like, get the camera out of my face, then I'll start eating it. He's going crazy on this water bowl. Pickle. So Pickle and Peanut look identical, minus the fact Peanut has the brown spot on her back. There we go. Straight to the eggy pops. Um, so yeah, pretty much current situation, guys. Um, I don't think these guys are actually going to come out and eat it. Oh, hi, Sugar. Sugar's got a sticky eye at the moment. Um, because of his age, he struggles to open one eye. Um, it gets a bit gooey. It does open after a while, but sometimes I do have to clean it with a cotton wool bud. Um, but he manages quite well with it. He usually does clean himself up. Um, but most hamsters get it as they get older anyway. Is that nice? I thought he'd eat the egg. Going in for the uh, salad first. Where are you going with that, Spud? Spud? 
sort his eye out in a minute as well for him. Is that it? Nobody else? Nibbles? No, Nibbles is still turfed away in bed. No Nemo? They'll come out when they're ready, I guess. Um. So yeah, anyway guys, it's kind of turned into like an updates video slash hamsters and mice and gerbils and cute little things. Um, but I just thought I'd give you a quick update and let you know what's been going on. Um, because I did say I'd give you an update when I know what's going on with the pets and stuff. Um, so yeah, they are now back at mine and I couldn't be happier. And it's so nice to see them just whenever I want and I don't have to phone my friend and ask if I can go around and anything like that and don't have to rush around and do things as quick as possible anymore and I can buy them whatever I want and not have to worry about finding somewhere to store it so yeah oh Nemo's come out come out for a drinky pops he's getting old he's getting really old now but he's moved about five times, six times, something like that. Everywhere I've moved, he's come with me, so... He's done quite a lot of house moving, having your buddy. Still no Nibbles. Nibbles just doesn't want to come out today. He's somewhere under that shelf. Because I saw him crawling under there before, going back to bed. But he's one of them hamsters that just, you can wake him up and he won't come out of bed. So, yeah. Anyways, as always guys, thank you so much for the support. Seriously, I wouldn't be able to carry on with YouTube if it wasn't for you guys because of... I've had so many, like, lovely comments, but I've also had so many horrible comments. Um, but the people who have been showing me lots of support and messaging me on Instagram and just being there for me and just being all positive and saying things will work out and everything like that like I couldn't be more grateful um I really don't know how to thank you all I might do like a little competition or something just to give something back to you guys because it means so much to me that no matter what I've been through you guys have always stuck through me it stuck through me stuck by me through thick and thin um so it is absolutely lovely to see that the whole YouTube community's kind of like come together and just supported me in the time of need that I really needed it the most because it has not been easy. Um, it's been a difficult situation and no one should have to go through that. I mean, I'm 22 and I struggled with it a lot. I'm still struggling now with it. So I can't imagine anyone who's younger than me going through it or anyone older for that matter because obviously everyone deals with things differently but I couldn't imagine anyone going through it because obviously getting um, kicked out of my mum's house was hard and then moving into my dad's house was really hard and then obviously moving in on my own was even worse because I've never ever um, had to support myself or anything like that so past couple of months have been crazy but we've got there in the end I can hear something on the roof of the shed and I don't know what it is apparently some lady said to me though shed there's like rats in the neighbour's garden or something like that and I don't quite like the idea of it. It sounds horrible. So I don't mind rats, but I don't like wild rats. So, yeah, gonna have to watch out for them. Aren't we, Squeak? Yes, we are. See, he doesn't look old. He's about two and a half, three years old now. Aren't you, Squeaky Pops? Hey. But he looks really healthy. And considering he's lost his brother, he does look really well. Puppy. They're all going crazy on water bottles this morning. It's quite warm though. <laughs> oh bless. So Nibbles is the only one you haven't seen this morning guys. Because he's still tucked up in bed. Because he's being a lazy lazy boy. So yeah, as always guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I shall do cage tours very very soon so thank you for watching and i shall see you in the next video bye just as i ended the video look who come out
and that mice nipples. So yeah, you've now seen all the pets, minus a couple of mice, but it's really hard to get all them in one. But you've seen some of the mice, you've seen all the hamsters, and you've seen little Squeak. Nibbles! He changed white over winter, it was so cute. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Have you got a sticky eye as well this morning? Or are you still half asleep? Still look half asleep, bless him. But yeah, the joys. It's so nice to just be able to see my pets when I want. I love it, I can't get over it. They moved in on Sunday. So they've only been here three days and every day I've been sitting in the shed for like hours with them and just getting them out because we've got wood flooring on the shed floor. So I've been getting them out, putting the playpen up and it's just the best feeling ever. I can't believe it. I'm so excited that they're home. And I know this sounds crazy to some people, but not having your pets with you makes you appreciate them more. Um, I know that sounds weird, but you really do appreciate the time you get to spend with them because you never know when it's going to be your last, like, Bubble and Badger did pass away when they were at my friend's house and I wasn't with them at the time, whereas all my other animals, I've been with them when they passed away. So it does make you appreciate the time you've got with them because they don't live long, so... Take every day as it come, guys, because you never know when it's going to be your last day with them. So spend as much time as you can with them. Spoil them rotten. And just give them lots of cuddles and just sit there and talk to them. I know it sounds stupid, but they can listen. And they do appreciate it. So, yeah, spend every day with them, guys. And just give them the best care you possibly can. So, yeah. I'm going to go now guys, so thank you so much for watching, take care and I shall see you soon.